Hello, and welcome back to FLL Fridays with Noah and Sahil. Today, we will be doing simple turns. The first turn is the pivot turn. This turn moves one wheel while keeping the other wheel stationary. The block we will be using for this turn is the large motor block. In the top right hand corner, you have to use, you have to pick your port, which is the motor you're going to be using uh, for the turn. If you would like to turn right, you need to use your left motor, and if you want to turn left, you need to use your right motor. Make sure you have the right motors by following the wires to the specific letter. In the bottom left hand corner, we have the same options on, on for seconds, on for degrees, on for rotations, and off. These are uh, how much you want to turn, so on will go forever, on for seconds will be the amount of seconds you want to turn, and degrees, how many degrees you want to turn for, and rotations, how many rotations you want to turn for. And then off is just to stop it. Next we have the power. The power, the highest power is 100, which is the fastest it'll go, and it can go negative also, which makes it go the other way it's supposed to turn. And then next we have the rotations block for, say, onto rotations, you have the rotations block, or the unit you'll be using. Well, in this case, I'm using rotations. You would have to put how many rotations you would want it to turn for. The next turn we will be doing is the spin turn. This turn moves both wheels in opposite directions so that it can turn while staying in the same place. This turn is good to minimize the amount you move around the board and giving, getting yourself to the exact angle you want to be at. In this case, we will be using the move tank block. As you can see, you can change the power for each one just as the other blocks that we have been using. For this case, if you want to do it at 100 speed, you would have one going 100 and one going negative 100. If you wanted to turn right and the left motor would be the B motor, this would turn right because this B motor is at 100 and the other C motor is at negative 100. So the C motor would turn backwards while the B motor turns forwards, turning it to the right. Next up, we have the move steering block. For this block, you have to put your two large motors for your ports. And make sure you have the right ones specifically for your robot. Um, next, we have the same options as always in the bottom left-hand corner, off, on, on for seconds, on for degrees and on for rotations. But now we have a new slider. This slider is how much you're gonna turn with, it shows you exactly how you're turning with the picture as you move the slider. So 100 is a 300, like a 360 degree turn and negative 100 is like a negative 360 degree turn and zero is forward. So those are your measurement lines to stay with for how much you want to move while you're turning. Then you have the power, which is the same as always, and the amount of rotations or whatever your unit is, is which is the same as always. Thank you for watching FLL Fridays, and please check out more 18172 Uplift Robotics videos.